What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Kid Stretch class brought to you by Stretch Effects. My name is Coach Luke, and we came to do today's 30 minute T spine focus Kid Stretch class. So, when you look at the spine, right, we have three main sections of the spine. We have our cervical spine, side here, we have our lumbar spine, which goes to about a little bit above the belly button, and then the, the section in the middle is our thoracic spine. So that's the one that happens a lot of people when they compare what's called kyphotic, if you're at a desk block, you're sitting in the car, and you get this forward posture here. That's, for most times, it's because we spend a lot of time in thoracic flexion that we don't get enough extension at that, at that section of the spine, right? But what happens is a lot of times we lose the ability to control those areas of the spine, right? So those, each individual vertebrae has the ability to to flex and extend. So the more control, the more ability we have to control those areas of the spine, not only is it gonna be easier for us to address those movement imbalances, but the more you're gonna be able to move them when you're doing your physical activities, whether you're in the gym, whether you're outside, whether you're playing with your kids, no matter what you're doing, you wanna be able to have control of each vertebrae of the spine. It takes a lot of practice, but we're gonna introduce how to address thoracic spine flexion, extension, and balances here today. And I'm really just kind of looking at our cars, we're going to look at some cat-cow work, and then going into some work with a band. If you have one, I would recommend you grab a band for today's class. If you don't have a band, that's okay. You can take like a long rolled up towel, rolled up t-shirt, and we're just going to really be using it to help us gain awareness um, for different areas of the spine. And then we'll also be using a pen to do some very specific uh, spinal work. So we're just going to introduce those things today. So I really just encourage you to you know, do your best with them, but keep in mind that it's going to take a lot of practice and time to get those things to really make changes. So we're just going to start right in some cat-cows. So if you've done this before, we're just going to start. And we're just going to work the full spine here just to kind of get things moving, and then we'll work into a, what's called a lumbar block. So we we'll focus on just the thoracic spine. So I'm going to be up in my cat-cow, right? So this will be the cow. Let me start the cat. Mm -hmm. Try to tuck my toe as much as I can. So this will be untucked. Really tuck my tailbone. Try to pull my chin to my chest. Drive the upper back to the sky. This is my cat. Flexion, and then I'm just gonna very slowly work into my cow. Getting some thoracic extension, lumbar extension, and so here to lift the chest, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. Do two more. I'm going to go right back to my cat. Making sure my shoulders are over my hands, my hips are over my knees. Running up, trying to round up my back as much as I can. Slowly work back into my cow. Big press away from the floor so I'm not tempted to shrug my shoulder blades together. But keep pressing so I get as much true extension from my thoracic body as I can and we're not masking it by doing more scap retraction, right? So here, one more time, just nice and slow. It's my cat. We've done the spine class of us before. We've done the segmental, which is more directly kind of looking at the whole spine, looking at flexion extension. For now, we're just looking just to get things kind of moving, get things warmed up a little bit, get the spine moving, and woken up. Especially if you've been sitting a lot today. We're going to do it one more time. Just slow, keep pressing away from the floor, big lift of the chest, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. And we go one more time into our cow. Just try to get as much extension as you can. Pull the back of your head with your tailbone closer together. Nice and easy, make sure you're not through into any pain, especially at the spinal level, and relax. Okay, so we go right into what's called a thoracic cat cow or a lumbar blocked thoracic cat cow. So I'm just going to be here, sitting on my heels. If you can't get this much knee flexion or this much ankle plantar flexion, you can just take a block, you can throw it right under your butt, or take two blocks, whatever you need for you, just to allow you to sit comfortably here, okay? So that's going to allow us to really focus on the grass spine because as I sit back, it's going to take my lumbar spine into some flexion. That's going to allow me to block off that area of the spine so I can really just focus on the upper section of my back. So from here, 
We do the same thing. So I'm just going to work right into cow, the cat, excuse me, driving up into flexion. I'm just trying to press the back of my spine through the shirt as I try to round out my upper back as much as I can. Pull my chin to my chest. Hang out here for a second. And then we're just going to slowly work into cow. So I think I'm trying to now lift my chest. You can lift the chin that would be cervical extension, but that can help feed into some thoracic extension. But ultimately, I just want to think lift the logo. So I got a logo on my shirt. I'm trying to lift and show that logo off straight ahead. So I'm getting here. I'm thinking continue to try to get some subtle tension in the shoulders, right? So I don't want to squeeze my shoulders together. I'm thinking kind of press away from the floor, but not so much that I'm just doing more protraction, right? So I'm pressing away but I'm also trying to lift my chest. See so that kind of creates, it won't be much. You don't have a whole lot of cervical extent or thoracic extension to you. But we're trying to just really try to reverse directions, thoracic extension into thoracic flexion, okay? So two, okay. reverse cow, shove the logo of your shirt forward. Lift that chest, pull those shoulders back just a little bit, look straight ahead, just try to squeeze the back side, upper back here, and that lift. Good, let's go one more. Rest flexion. Back up, back up, back up. Last one. Extension, lift that chest, pull those shoulders back. Something that we will address with our band and or a towel if you have one a little bit later. And okay, so we'll get into some thoracic cars. So if you got a block, we'll take this block and throw it under your knees so you can go this way, this way, or the easiest way would be this one because that will give us a wider base of the knees. So that will allow us to have a little bit more control over our thoracic spine because we have a little bit more balance, okay? So get a second block, you take that block and you give it a nice big bear hug here or here. Or if you don't have a second block, if you have one block, use the block for your legs and then you can grab like a pillow, something, a rolled up towel, rolled up blanket, something you can squeeze onto to just give you a little bit, of, little bit more force capacity here. Okay, so we're in this position here. So I'm in my tall kneeling position. My glutes are tight, ribs are down, core is engaged. Take this block here, so they're right to where the bottom side is right on the rib cage. We want to be able to kind of use that to help us flex down. Again, we don't want to flex through the whole spine, right? So the rib cage tells us where we're kind of flexing from. So right about here. So there, I'm gonna hug the block. The chin stays in the chest the whole time. Squeeze my glutes, squeeze the block, squeeze this block in, and squeeze this block nice and tight. So here body's tight, full body tension, and then I'm just going to sl slightly flex my thoracic spine, and then rotate, bend on that side, keep my chin on my chest, and extend over the top, lift the chest, keep that chin on the chest, rotate over the top, I'm going to flex to my left, take my right shoulder, rotate slightly across the body, and then just pull those elbows in, and rotate through the side. Let's go one more time. Rotate. Flex. Extend over the top. Big chest as I flex to my left. My shoulder crosses. Split, squeeze in. Elbow squeeze down. And back to center. Let's come up. Chin stays in the chest. We set the tension on the block. Glutes and core can into. Chin stays down. Flex, rotate, so my hips stay still, laterally flex, stand over the top, and flex to my right, left shoulder, cross pulls, elbows into the ribs, and rotate through. We got one more here, rotate, flex. And get tall, keep the chin in the chest. 
lateral reflex, rotate, elbows down, and move, and relax. Okay, so that's two reps. So that's thoracic parts each side. What we're going to do from here is you're going to grab your pen. So this is going to take a little bit of explanation. So really what we're using this for is going to be to create more thoracic extension awareness, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to lay on your chest and then we're just going to go for multiple positions here. So we're going to have it about just below the, just below the collarbone, right? So I think inch or two below the collarbone. So that'll be position one or position two will be just kind of like mid upper chest. And then position three will be top of the rib cage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take that pen, it's gonna seem kind of weird at first, right? So bear with me for a second. Take that pen, and then you're just gonna throw it right under the chest, just so you can feel like you're pressing down onto that pen. So you wanna have it, you wanna be able to feel what that pen is pressing into. And then that's gonna be your fulcrum point to create some thoracic extension, right? So never done this before, it's going to feel like you're completely lost and there's no no kind of awareness at those, at those sections of the barriers and they're totally okay. The more you do it, the more you practice it, the more awareness you have. What we're going to do is we're just going to go five lift-offs from here, it's super slow, five here, and then we'll go five at the top of the rotation. What you want to think about is you want to try to not press, not lift off of the pen. I want to use that pen to be the point where I'm lifting from. Right, so I want to lift everything from the pen and above, right? So I'm, it's almost like I'm trying to roll the pen forward as I extend up. As so keep the pressure down, but use all the tissue on the posterior side of the body to lift up and squeeze and feel like you're trying to push it out forward. And then we'll just come right back down, collect ourselves, reset the tension, right? So even though we're laying on our stomach and we're, you know, relatively safe, right? You know, you've got really and that's tight and you don't feel like you need to. I want to take full body tension, right? So I'm squeeze my hands, I'm squeeze my ribs, on everything nice and tight, and then only extend where that pen is pressing into and above. Okay, so we go five reps, five reps, five reps. Okay. Now I'm laying on my stomach. My chin will be just facing down towards the floor. My arms are my side, so I can feel the pen where it's touching. Nice and braced, right? So arms are squeezing, legs are squeezing, body's nice and tight, and then we'll just do our first reps. So just think, lift just where that pen is pressing from. You should feel like the upper back, back side of the, right behind the shoulder blade up on the traps, and back down. That's one. Go and lift up. Hold. Two. See, it's not a lot of motion here, right? We don't have a whole lot of thoracic. Extension. We just want to make sure that it's only coming from the two front and not the lumbar spine right that would be right here. So right back down. Three more there. Tension, tension, and lift. Down. Three. And lift. Down. Four. We're feeling it right. About uh, here, right where that pen is touching. Last one and lift. Squeeze it, hold. And back down. Okay, so we'll drop that pen down. We're going to go lower in the chest now. Think about mid to upper chest. Right here, just think tight. Leg squeeze, arm squeeze, and that pen and lift. Now we're a little bit higher because the pen. Is lower in the back, or is lower in the chest. And down. One. Tension. Lift. Down. Two. And lift. Down. Three. And lift. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Down. Four. Last one here. Push that pen out with the body and lift. Back down. Good. And we'll move that pen right at the top of the rib cage, right? So about here, lumbar spine tends to start. It's just an inch or two below that. 
so we just want to make sure we're here. So it's going to be harder to lift now because now we've got more meat, right? More of our body we're trying to lift up, right? So really try to resist using the lumbar spine and really just try to use that thoracic spine. Five reps here with the hold. This should be the easiest one to feel the pen into. So really tuck that tailbone, get legs nice and tight, arms nice and tight in the floor, and lift. The more you can practice it, the more you can kind of go over those things and create more awareness at each individual segment, the better, right? So that would be something that's just going to take a lot of repetition, you know, a lot of practice, but the more you do it, the better it's going to become, the better it's going to do. Okay, so let's go from here. Now, set the kind of aside, you know, grab your band, right? So if you have a band, what we're going to do is we think here, and we're just going to put it, we're going to put across it once you have this X in the band there. And then we're just gonna come around the back. So we're gonna focus on the thoracic, right? So again, if you can get back into this position here. If you're on the band, it's okay. You just grab a, like I said, grab a towel, grab a you know, long sleeve shirt, something that you can just go and wrap around the back side of your body. We should be just like this, right? So we're just gonna use this band to help us create awareness. At when we use the pen from the front side of the body, and now we use the band to create awareness at the back side of the body, right? So you can take it here. If you want, you can, um, so you can set up a different position so it's where the hands are a little bit more kind of centered, you know, in the band, right? So sometimes people like it here, sometimes people like it more kind of in the fingers. You just want it to be comfortable to the point where it comes over the top and we're just going to start, we're going to go multiple different positions here, but you can change, you can literally go one to each individual segment of the spine. We're gonna go three different areas here. So we'll start kind of upper T-spine, mid T-spine, and lower T-spine. But keep in mind, you have 12 segments at your thoracic spine, so you have a lot of areas that you can train from, right? So we're just gonna start here, sit on the feet, and then we're just gonna have hands right out in front, just like this. So sit back on those heels, take the band to the upper T-spine. Again, if you have a towel, you just pull on the towel, put the hands here, arms right out in front. All we're going to be doing, the mat here. All we're going to be doing is the same thing we started with with our thoracic. My X is in the center of my back here. I want to make sure you cross that perfect. And there. So just like we started our thoracic cat cow, all I'm going to be doing now instead of doing the full cat cow, I just want to think just. Flex, you're going to have to be very little motion, right? You're not going to see a whole lot of motion going on here, but you're just going to flex into the band, right? So I'm just here. I just want to think, press the spine into the band, just where the band is pressing into, and then I'm going to work to pull off the band, but that band is also going to help create some awareness to almost pull me down as well. So I'm trying not to just let it drop, right? So I just want to think, flex into the band, and pull, so you see that difference, the right? So pull off of the band. As I work into extension, we're not gonna go with the cervical extension, just the chin stays down, chest points forward, and now flex into the band, and bend off of the band. The higher you go, I found, in, you know, it's working with a lot of people, the higher you go up in the grass, it's fine, for most people, the harder it is, have awareness. So if this is tough for you, just that's all that means is that you just do more practice, more repetition there, more time. But the more you can spend, more time you can spend working on thoracic flexion extension, the better your upper back is going to feel, the better your shoulders are going to move, the better your shoulder blades are going to move. Right, so 
one more there. So flex into the bands. And flex or extend off of it. And then let's lower the band. So we're about mid to fine, so it's slightly easier to get a feel for. Hands are down in front. I'm still blocking myself off if you want to go out this way a little bit more than you certainly can. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. And like I said, the band for the point like kind of pressing into your hands. You always go up more on the fingers, more down close to the thumb, whatever looks best for you. So from here, I'm going to work into flexion. So it's going to be a little bit easier to feel. So I'm just going to just put a dance press into it. I want to flex the spine. So I'm press it up into the band here. Now it's full thoracic flexion. So that's the band is pressing. And then from there, just try to pull the spine off. Just trying to extend. Keep the hands where they are, try not to squeeze my shoulder blades. Just press the chest forward as I uh, extend. And flex. Five reps there. Extend. Five seconds down. Flex. Extend. one, go lower, so this is more of If you want to go, you can come around, take your hands out and under the band, just like that. Here, so I'm going to go right below the shoulder blades, hands are here. So hands are still anchoring, but now just the band is on the inside. If you want to keep it in the same, same spot, you should have again. And then we're just going to work on the same thing. So flexing. So for most people, the lumbar spine tends to be pretty well. And extend it. So the lower you get, the closer you get to the lumbar spine, the easier it is to be. So in the future, if you want to start where it gets a little, where it's a little bit easier, and then you can work up the back, that's certainly okay. You just want to pop down, just to feel for each individual segment. So I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to extend, so I'm trying to extend off through that cow. Now flex into it. Helping us get a little bit more awareness at these three sections. Again, these are not the only three sections. You can go one segment at a time. Each session, you can work on just one segment if you like. All we're trying to do is use the band to not only provide some resistance, but more so to provide just some awareness to create motion in one individual segment. Just be aware, try not to use the whole thoracic spine, right? One individual segment will you know, probably probably be less motion than you think, right? Flex. Flex. Flex one. Flex down. Pull off that band and go back. Okay. Pull that band off to the side. Here, let's just grab our blocks again. Let's go back to some full thoracic cars. Get three reps each side this time now. Now that we work a little bit of extension from hand flexion of the band and the pen, or some cars, and work the, more of a lumbar locked, more thoracic focus cat cow. We should give you some full on T spine card again just to kind of finish them off. Okay, so squeeze that block in, squeeze the glutes, ribs down. Squeeze the block up at the top, bottom side of the block is right on top of the cage. So for the last pin lift off right. So from here, I'm going to chill my chest, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the block, and rotate. Flex. Extension to feel a little bit more, a little more aware, a little more motion going on up there. We're going to utterly flex. Rotate across and come through. We're just going to tick tock back and forth. Let's go back to the left. Flex. 
and chance there's a chance, try to lift that chest just like you did with the pen. Uh, and one. You want to switch arms, you can. It's up to you. Second breath. Flex. Oh, we're still tight. Flex. Rotate. Three. Back to the left. Rotate. Flex. Extend. Flex. Rotate through. Down. Now one more each way. Rotate. Flex. Extend. Flex. Rotate. Through. Last one. Rotate. Flex. Extend. Up. Chin up. Or sorry, chin down, chest up. Flex. Rotate. And the center. And relax. Very good. Again, that was a thoracic focused pinch or plus. So very specific to just that area of the spine. I encourage you to not only work on your thoracic front, plus your lumbar, and your shoulders as well. So if you're doing your cars, I recommend doing multiple um, cervical, T spine, and your cat cow. So a full linear spine, I call it. I mean, throughout the day, the more exposure you get to that, the better, the better everything's going to move, the better you can feel. And then you can just always work on more specific areas of the spine. With the pen, doing your lift offs there, or with the band, doing your just more focused cat cow on those individual segments. So, the more practice, the more time you spend there, the better. And I encourage you to do that as much as you can. So, thank you for joining me in today's T Spine Focus Picture class. I hope to see you again.